Hello, this is Bino. Welcome to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree care specialist. Worked in the tree care business for about 30 years now. What I like to do with this channel is share tree climbing tips, techniques to beginners and experts, or anything to do with trees. Um, recent, you know, a few videos back, I, I did a, um, a video using a rope wrench, and one of our subscribers, Hugo Garcia, asked the question, can you use the rope wrench with a Blake's hitch? So I figured that would be something to do. That's what we're going to work on today. All right, let's get to it. Honestly, I've never thought about going back to the Blake's Hitch once I got into press cords, but it was um, an idea that entertained me using a Blake's Hitch with a rope wrench. So what, what I do have, I have um, some split tails that are spliced high, but I figured in this situation, because the rope wrench tether, what I'm going to have to do is I want this um, Blake's Hitch to fit inside the tether. So I made myself a short split tail out of, you know, those uh, lines that you cut on accident. It's a very, it's a good piece of line. I've put a double fisherman's bend in it and I've made it really short. So I'll have a really short bridge and I'll, I'll start working on that now. Let me get my carabiner here. Throw my carabiner on. I need a very short bridge because what's going to happen is once I put my, um, weight on it it's going to stretch on me and maybe roll a little so i'm going to tie the blakes and be the wraps upward okay get that bridge going back behind it open the two bottom ones up and i'll throw this inside there's one two can you see that all right, Oops. got to get that back inside the, the bridge here. Sorry about that. Okay, now that I got it in the bridge, I'm going to tighten it up. And then I'll have to put my weight on it at some point. Okay. I'm going to make that tight. Now, I will have this very short tail, which I do want, because I really don't want it to go very far. I'll make my figure eight in the back. There it goes, figure eight. And I'm going to try to get it close to the knot as I can. Because I do not want to have a huge tail. Or bridge, I mean. Okay. So. Now another thing that I haven't done before. Is um, used a, um, a rope wrench on a half inch line. Now this is my blue streak. So one of my oldest lines. Uh, we'll see if it works today. <laughs> so here we go. Now with a 11 millimeter and a half, you could, you can, um, you can just um, open this halfway. But I'm thinking with this um, half inch, I have to take it all the way off and then pop it on. All right. Now I got that on. Now I'll get the hitch climber pulley here. Okay. Now I'm going to put. Let me take this off real quick. I will put the tether on one side of the climb, the pulley, and the Blake's on the other. So here we go. Here's the tether. And I'm going to use the bottom becket. Now the downside about having the double fisherman's bend is it's kind of bulky, so it kind of puts everything off to the side. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just put it on my belt just to see if it's going to hold me. I don't want to be running. All right, let's do a little test here. See if I can get it to hold. Back up. Let's see, push this up. All right, see how that that bridge kind of stretched a little? But okay, looks like it's gonna hold. Now that I have it tied, 
what I'm going to do is I'll go up to the top of the tree here and I'll give it a try, walk on a branch and see how it goes. Oh, here I go. I'm going to get my hitch climber connected to my, my chest harness. Let's see if I can gotta loosen it up a little. It's a little bit more difficult than with the French press it. Okay, got it. And now I'm going to throw the uh, rope into my jet step. Now I got it. All right, here I go. Now that I got close to the tree, I'm just going to hold the branches and kind of free climb. And now that I have this on my chesty, the knot comes up with me with my foot ascender. Okay, and disconnect. Get it set up. Rest, make sure it's going to hold. All right, it's holding. Now that I'm in the canopy, you'll notice that the bridge did stretch out some. So, you know, with my tether, I wouldn't be able to do it with a Blake hitch. Having the old tether would work. Um, where you put your weight on it, that bridge stretches out. It didn't really creep on me on this side of it, but uh, yeah, that's, that's what, would, what would happen. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to detach and I'm going to walk out on the limb behind me and see how it goes. So um, I did notice that it was a little bit tighter on the way up. And, and then if I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to go down on that branch there. Throw, this is an older version, so it doesn't have that grommet um, underneath the, the rope branch. So here we go. A little bit of tension here. Throw a loop down below me. Oops, let me undo this. This was my my little bit of a climbing knot here, so way down my line. Okay, so get that undone. All right, here I go. Slightly tugging to see how it feels. It's pretty tight compared to say the. French press accords. Here we go. Yeah, it's a lot different to, to walk on, that's for sure. It feels more jerky and tight. There. Yeah, I do feel a heck of a lot more shaky with this hitch than I do with my French press accords. Now, Time to see if I can come in. All right, here we go. Now, walking on the limb. There's that little bit of a gap. So the thing that I'm liking the most is that I can hold the stable line above my, my arms. There we go. Now push that back and it holds. So I don't think I want to... Uh, step up on that. I think what I'm going to do is just walk around this branch. So hang on, let me reset that. Put my lanyard on. Make it a little tight. Put a little bit of slack in my line. And I'm just going to come around this. I really don't like the feeling of the way that Hitches. Let me see. So what I'm going to do now? Right. Okay, cool. Now I got my weight on it. I'm doing my lanyard, and I'm going to go back to where I was standing. See how I feel with that? Yeah. Let me go out on another little one here. Throw my branch. Put some weight on it. Let's see. 
yeah, you can grab, the thing about this one is you can grab the, the, the whole knot, and it's not like the little tiny ones, but it's, it's a little more jerky for me. And I don't think I really like the extra length of the bridge. Well, it works. Surprises me. I'm not sure if I really would enjoy climbing with this system. I more rather would use the, the cords, the press it cords. Now that I've done the, the walk in the tree, I'm going to proceed down. And, and I gotta, gotta let you know that I'm a little nervous just because the way this moves is not as smooth for me as say the, the press it cords. So I'm going to baby it a little, going to kind of go to the top and just pull lightly and see how we do. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Oops. I got hung up on something. Okay. There we go. All right. There we go. Now with the Blakes, now someone, especially someone like me, I'm pretty heavy. So this, this bridge goes between the wraps and up against the rope. So you got to be careful it like not blazing down the line because you could really melt this and it could snap on you that's not something you want to do and and honestly the more you weigh and the faster you go the more damage you could do it's actually running pretty freely not too scary but it, it actually is very very tight i'm gonna come off of it a little bit i'm gonna put my weight on it and uh actually down here and walking on a limb this part wasn't that bad coming down the descending part it was pretty darn tight but you gotta admit pretty pretty heavy um, a lighter guy might have better success um, it's doable Blake's hitch works with the rope wrench um, gotta admit it's not one of my favorite ones I do like press it cords more but there you have it well that's the Blake's hitch using a rope wrench and also a half inch line an older rope that's not Kermanto construction you know it's doable it, it's something that you can do so not one of my favorite situations but i'm thinking if you were a guy who uses mrs system and you have regular type of rope you could actually get into the system to see if you like it with not a whole heck of a lot of cost the the rope wrench with the tether and if you already have micro pulleys and carabiners you know that you're halfway there um getting something like that jet step foot ascender that won't ruin your regular lines. If you have a, a whole lot of regular lines, I know you wouldn't want to ruin them, but having something like, you know, an extra foot ascender and a rope wrench tether, then you could get, give yourself an opportunity to, to see if you like the SRS. So trying the Blake's, this whole situation, I think it was a good learning experience. And I, I think, um, yeah, it's, it's really good to give it a try. Remember that if you're gonna do something new, do it low and slow and you don't want to get hurt. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I gotta say that I really enjoy all the comments everybody's been giving me on all the different videos that we make. Um, I do read them all and I gives me food for thought and ideas for videos and actually I like the community. It's great. As always, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share your the video with um, all your friends and I want to say um, thanks Hugo Garcia for that comment on the Blake's Hitch and the Rope Wrench. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.